Today, we're going to look at Citrix electronic signature and show how a new employee who has not yet been onboarded needs to sign a healthcare form. Also, the HR manager and HR director will need to sign the form. We will start with Lisa, the HR manager, who initiates the process by selecting a file from her workspace and previews it to make sure it's the correct file. From the menu on the right, she selects Send for Signature. Lisa now inputs the following information. The signer, Mark, and his email. She also inputs herself as one of the approvers and Nicole, the HR director. The order can be changed by checking the box in the corner and moving the names up or down. Once the document is opened, she can manually input the fields by selecting a field on the right and dragging it to the document. A quicker alternative method is to import an overlay document with the fields already in place. After she imports the overlay file, she can still modify the components on the file, like assigning roles to a signature, adding text, date, signature, checkbox, payment collection fields, and attachments. She will add the middle name text field to the form. Having completed the document preparation, she can provide a custom message and share the file for signature. She is then taken to the form and she can see it's in pending status. Mark, the new hire, receives an email in his personal email with a link to sign the document. He opens the document and there are some helpful guidelines. He follows simple steps to provide the inputs and executes the document. He is then taken to the document and is shown the status. The green checkbox shows he successfully completed his section. He also gets an email telling him he has completed his part. Once Mark signs the document, it's now Lisa's turn. She gets a notification in Workspace and in her email of Mark's signature, and now it's her turn to execute the document. She signs the document and gets notification by email as well as in her Workspace. Nicole also gets a notification in Workspace and via email. She opens up and executes the document and sees the status has changed to executed. She also gets a notification in her email and Workspace that the document is fully executed. A signed copy is archived back to Citrix files in addition to Citrix electronic signature. The signed copy contains the signature certification that contains the following. Basic authentication information for each signed party. Detailed authentication information represented by a SHA-1 checksum. Timestamp, IP address, and an audit log. Citrix Electronic Signature Audit Log is court admissible and can be presented to the court upon a request. The document is now available for all signees to view and can be shared with external health insurance vendors securely for further actions to be taken on their end. 